Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And I want to talk to you about how to merge and resolve some stash pop conflicts, just in case you run into them. Now, for this example, I've initialized a Git repository. I've put a file in here called stash pop conflict. I've added it to the index and then done a little commit just so that I can create a stash issue on my own. And the idea with working with the stash is that you're going to edit some files. I'm going to edit that stash pop conflict file right here by just typing hello world into there, may as well. There we go, that just edits the file. Now, imagine for some reason you needed to stash that file. If you say git stash, I think you do git stash push if you really want. You just have to say git stash, it's the same thing as git stash push. And all of a sudden, I've now stashed my file in that state. Now let's imagine that I do a little bit more work. And so maybe I change from hello world to goodbye world. Then maybe do a little commit. And do a little git ref log just to show you everything that's in there. Probably do even a little ls file and show you it's that stash pop conflict file that I'm working on. Okay, so I have now edit, I've now done a commit. I've edited the file and stashed it. I've then done another edit on the file, committed it. Now, if I go in and try and pop that stash and overwrite the stash pop, pop conflict file, the tool is going to complain. It's going to say, look, you're going to overwrite something that's committed. This is a, a, a bad idea and you're going to have to deal with it. So let's do that. Git stash pop. Let's see what happens. And there you go. It says conflict content merge conflict in stash pop conflict.html file and so what it's done to me right now is it's actually done a bunch of edits into this file you can see it here that's the file on my local file system and it's kind of put all of my code together it said you know the original stuff is this that was in the stash the stuff that's committed it's it's that how do you want to resolve that well the way that we resolve it is we go in there and we actually just edit the file and figure out how we want to merge it. And so that's what the file looks like right now. I mean, you can merge it any way that you want. Click save. That is now saved. Now I can come over here. That file has been successfully merged, but it's not in the index. So I've got to do a git add command and then a git commit command as well. and life is good. Now one thing to notice is that if you do a git list command, a git stash list, it's actually still going to list that pop in the stash, that stash that was popped. And the reason for that is when there's a conflict, the stash isn't actually deleted. So normally a pop gets deleted after it overwrites your working files. But if there's a conflict, that doesn't happen, just so you have the ability to go back to it. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you do want to get rid of it, it's just a matter of saying git stash drop. And now if I do a git list, everything is there is gone kit stash list everything there is gone and i'm back to the way i wanted it before or at least after i did the pop and there you go that's how you merge and resolve conflicts with your git stash pop and if you enjoyed that tutorial why don't you head over to the server side.com i'm the editor in chief over there we got lots of great tutorials on git github devops tools and cloud native development if you're interested in my personal antics you can always follow me on twitter at Cameron MCNZ, and hey, subscribe on the YouTube.